this is uh, uh, one very uh, sad thing that uh, a very sad reality uh, you know as I told I'm so excited about so many upcoming data but if uh, I have to think about whether we could use actually use the use those drugs for every patient in the world then that becomes a very uh, sad thing to think about because most of these drugs that we are excited about they are very very expensive and out of the capacity of affordability for many patients in the world and even many governments and countries uh, in the world so uh, the innovation and affordability they don't go hand in hand and that's a very sad thing for patients for cancer care for us physicians because financial toxicity is a real problem we have seen that uh, financial toxicity we used to say it's a big problem in low and middle income countries because patients cannot afford many drugs and there is no health insurance system but lately the recent data have shown that it's a very big problem in United States in high income countries and in Italy uh, uh, and uh, we have also seen that uh, this exists even if uh, there is health insurance in system even if uh, patients have to pay only a little from the pocket uh, and we have also seen data that the financial toxicity is associated with survival. So this is very complicated. Uh, that we are using drugs to improve survival, but we have also seen data that financial toxicity reduces survival. So uh, I think we need to take this issue very seriously and we need to, uh, together with the industry, with the government and uh, practicing physicians, patient advocacy groups, we need to uh, think of a realistic solution in which uh, we can address financial toxicity uh, without uh, compromising innovation and I think uh, addressing financial toxicity does not uh, necessarily need to compromise innovation because the the pricing is actually no, uh, the pricing today does not uh, uh, it, uh, it, it is not uh, uh, dependent on the value the drug provides the pricing it depends on what the market can bear what the people uh, what the government is uh, able to pay so uh, i think we need to be uh, realistic and we need to uh, propose some solutions so that uh, the pricing of the drug uh, should match uh, the survival or uh, the quality of life advantage that it provides yeah i think that is one very uh, exciting and uh, uh, in oncology relatively new field that uh, we can uh, make use of to address uh, financial toxicity uh, we have seen that uh, the use of biosimilars uh, will reduce the price of uh, the drug by uh, nearly 30 percent uh, or more in some cases uh, uh, and especially with the trastuzumab biosimilars uh, coming up uh, we, we believe that this is just a beginning for the uh, for the biosimilars of other drugs uh, also to arrive uh, so uh, yeah i definitely hope that uh, the use of biosimilars will increase the affordability and accessibility to uh, can cancer drugs uh, globally but uh, we also need to be uh, cautious about two things one uh, if biosimilars are in place then if biosimilars are available then they should be used uh, as I have uh, written uh, in an editorial that uh, especially data from Italy shows that even if uh, there are erythropoietin biosimilars available many uh, doctors are still using the brand name drug so uh, a biosimilar will help to reduce price only if we use it if we are not going to use it then it's it's the same as uh, not having any biosimilar at all uh, so that is one important uh, caution and another important caution is uh, yes biosimilars help in reducing prices but they are not uh, the primary uh, biosimilars are not the primary way to bring uh, the prices of drugs down or to improve affordability the primary concern is to have the uh, price of the original drug uh, cheap uh, or not so expensive because if the original drug is very expensive let's say okay trastuzumab trastuzumab is so expensive that even if we have a biosimilar i think in in, in nepal india in africa uh, even if the cost of biosimilar is 50 percent to the original drug nobody is uh, able to afford it so uh, it, it doesn't make any point to have a biosimilar for a drug that is originally too expensive so our primary focus should be to bring the price of the uh, drug down so that when we have biosimilars then uh, we'll have a relatively cheaper uh, version that can be used by many patients throughout the world. Uh, thank you very much. It's always such a pleasure to talk to Onco Info.